this is an air schnazen he through schnaz reich his cousin they hold Hi, everybody. Dacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. That was a cute little intro or a scary little intro or a big intro or whatever have you. Some of you might be freaked out by now. Some of you might not. It was just a fun little way to say hello to you uh, with a new version of me. Uh, you could decipher the secret messages or not. There is a riddle in there. Um, keep the mystery alive, guys. So thank you so much for <laughs> sticking with me through that mysterious intro and welcome to a new chapter. Uh, of course, uh, it's not just uh, new hair. The whole, you know, world revolving around me is changing. So, um, you know, I was this close to pulling a Britney on myself and on the rest of the world, but I didn't. I didn't go all Britney. Um, but I, I, there, there is a change. So the hair is shorter, it's darker. I'm kind of slowly going back to my natural uh, color. I'm going back to what is, I mean, ash blonde should be my natural color. And I was really hard to go to that specific tone and hue because once you're bleached and blonde, going back to an ash type of blonde, it's very risky. You, you could turn green. So, uh, you know, I really wanted to go back more to the natural look of, of things, hence also the beard and everything. I'm really kind of grounding myself more also for the type of topics to come and um my incredible uh hairstylist we were working for five hours on this and uh we went through a lot of different shades and nuances and research of you know the the right to to get the right hue of course with every wash it's going to get slightly more toned down this intensity of the color but we're going to get to kind of a place where once the hair starts growing out, you're going to be, or I'm going to be experiencing my natural hair color, which I haven't seen in like five years, except for the roots from time to time. Um, <clears throat> Twin Peaks is coming back in less than a month. I am extremely excited about this. Um, the intro was inspired by um, many dream sequences and red room sequences from uh, Twin Peaks. So David Lynch and Mark Frost, I'm so looking forward to the birth of your new baby coming to television on the 21st of May. Oh, what other updates do I have? I have an incredible thing in store for you guys. Um, actually, I can't speak for you. I don't know if it's incredible for you. It's incredible for me because um, it's... I, I don't know when was the last time that I had an epiphany, uh, an awakening... Um, a sort of strange, visceral reaction to a certain smell uh, that triggered so many strange emotions in me. So much so that um, I, I had to immediately get on it uh, and, and, and review this particular fragrance. So what is coming next... Uh, is 
it's like, for those of you who know Dante and, and, and have read, I mean, yes, masterpiece of literature, but it can also be a very heavy read. So, you know, he wrote the Inferno. Uh, and actually, okay, so the Inferno, or Hell, uh, is the most interesting of the three books. Uh, uh, the Purgatory or Purgatorio, or, and then the Paradise. Paradiso, paradise, the higher we get and the more boring these books get in a way. Now, mind you, for all of the literates out there, I know this is very shameful and I shouldn't be saying it, but when I was a kid at school, like I had a lot of pleasure reading the Inferno and it was more hard for me to get through the uh, Purgatorio and the, the Paradiso or Paradise. <clears throat> But let's just call it this way. Uh, we began in paradise and we're ascending. We're going deep. We're going deeper and deeper in time. We're going deeper in emotions. We're going deeper underneath that surface. You know, I still get comments from people telling me that, um, you know, trolls. There are trolls out there. There's more love than there are trolls. But there, it's kind of sad to me for those people who leave some stupid comment, like some superficial bullshit, just like screaming for attention just proving to the world that they have no clue what is going on here. What we have here is sacred and special. And only who follows the videos and kind of sees the progression understands what we're talking about. The rest of the world either has to catch up or they kind of miss it. But we are definitely going deeper. And let's see what the future videos bring, what the future travels bring. Um, I have a couple of ideas in store. I hope you will enjoy uh, this journey, this travel. Everything can change from day to day. Uh, I can, you know, this literally is not bleached over. The, it's, it's just a toner. So a couple of months or whatever, if I'm bored of it, I could go back to blonde or not or shave it all off. So things can change. But for now, I'm really in this mood, in this vibe of this depth. And for those of you who are also in that mood, without being afraid, you are safe here. I'm not going to uh, push you anywhere where you would not be safe. But for those of you who are in the mood for going deeper, stick around. It's going to be a roller coaster, bumpy ride. So stay tuned. I hope the interest has been awoken. Leave me comments in the comment section down below. I know you will. But anyway, I would love you to leave them because your comments are always the best in the world. And if you haven't already but wish to, please do subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. <sighs> no matter how big the changes are and how frightening they might seem in the beginning, we keep our cool because we know that when we are together, we will never give up on love. Love you guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.